Just in, Japanese authorities now checking on the status of their moon sniper robotic explorer as it did touch down on the lunar surface in the last hour. They'll provide updates just in a bit. Let's get to CNN's Kristen Fisher. It appears the moon sniper did land, um, but not in the sea of tranquility somewhere else. Correct. It's called the Sea of Nectar, uh, Sarah. And uh, what we know is that this spacecraft called SLIM, which is short for the Smart Lander for Investigating the Moon, uh, it has touched down on the surface of the moon. Uh, but the big question is, what kind of condition is it in? The spacecraft is communicating with the ground, specifically Japan Space Agency or JAXA. Um, but did the spacecraft perhaps tip over, roll over, or worst case scenario, did it completely crash into the surface of the moon. Uh, we just don't know yet. And we're awaiting a press conference from JAXA, the Japanese Space Agency, any minute now where hopefully we will get some answers. And so it's really too soon to say, <clears throat> excuse me, if this was a success or a failure, because you know what, what, what is a success? If you land on the moon, that is a pretty big feat in and of itself. Uh, but then if you tip over uh, and you can't perform some of the scientific observations that you were hoping for it to perform, does that still constitute a success? So a lot of questions here, but Sarah, if successful, this will be such a huge deal for Japan and its space agency because it will become only the fifth country in the history of the world to land on the surface of the moon successfully um, and only the third country this century. Only China and uh, India have done it. It's been more than 50 years uh, since the U.S. has done it, which was back in 1972 at the end of the Apollo program. So really a momentous moment for Japan Space Agency. Everybody's really holding their breath, waiting to see what is going to happen. And, you know, in addition to these historic firsts, potentially, this rover called the, the Moon Sniper is demonstrating this really cool pinpoint technology trying to land in an area just the size of a football field. You compare that to previous landers, their target landing site was several kilometers, even miles long. So if successful, not just a historic first for Japan, but also a really impressive step forward in terms of the types of technology for these kinds of lunar landers. So I'm just being told there is a press conference from the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency about the spacecraft on the moon. Let's listen in. At 1020, the JST, a smart lander for investigating moon, uh, landed on the moon. We have been able to confirm that it has arrived on the moon uh, surface. My name is Kuninaka, uh, the, the Director General uh, of um, ISIS. As uh, was explained, a uh, smart lander for investigating moon slim. Um, we made a, a challenge to landing on the moon. Now, uh, the slim uh, has um, been communicating uh, to the Earth uh, station, and it is um, receiving command from um, the Earth uh, accurately. And uh, is uh, re that spacecraft is responding to this um, um, uh, in a normal way. However, it seems that. Um, the, the solar uh, cell is not generating electricity at this point in time. And since we are not uh, able to generate electricity, and so the operation is being done using batteries uh, on load. And um, based on the data, uh, um, uh, and landing has been stored uh, on this spacecraft. And so uh, we are trying to uh, data source that to the Earth. Um, and we are making an effort uh, to uh, maximize the scientific um, um, the achievement. Um, and during the descent uh, to the moon, and while hovering uh, above the, uh, the, the moon uh, surface, uh, we have been able to uh, separate uh, lab one. And lab one, uh, once um, separated, uh, will automatically uh, send um, the uh, uh, signal, and that um, has been successful. So uh, we do consider level one and level two have been successfully separated. And uh, we are making an effort uh, to acquire data at this point in time. And in order for us to analyze the data, uh, we will require uh, some time. Uh, that has been the case um, uh, schedule from the, the start. 
And so in regards to um, sharing of the data, um, we will require a little more time. And so what we know at this point in time is, um, as I have explained, and so we are still gathering data uh, to understand the situation of uh, this uh, space aircraft. Also, uh, SLIM uh, has um, start targeted uh, the high precision landing um, uh, with an accuracy of 100 meters. Well, we require to do a, a, a detailed analysis of data as we have um, um, indicated in advance. And so as to whether we have been able to achieve um, 100 meter accuracy or not, um, uh, we would require a little more time for us to be able to confirm on this point. And also, um, so we will gather um, the data. Um, that we have been able to gather, and we are hoping of holding a press conference uh, next week. Uh, as for a uh, uh, precise uh, date, uh, we will inform you um, uh, uh, next week. And so that is what we know at this point in time. Thank you very much. Any follow-up comment from uh, Dr. Fujimoto? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, the materials have been distributed to everybody in the venue and also those who are participating through uh, WebEx uh, online. We are also web streaming this uh, program. So if you haven't received the materials uh, yet, uh, please wait uh, for them. And also there will be a press release on the website of uh, JAXA, and we are updating information every now and then on the website. So please be patient to receive the materials. Thank you very much indeed. From Anna Won, without further ado, I would like to start taking questions from the members of the press. So we have um, members joining in the venue as well as online participants. So first, uh, participants in the venue, followed by questions by online participants. If you are participating through a web line, please state your name and affiliation by typing that into the chat, and then we will appoint you. So from the venue, please wait for the microphone. Once you get the microphone, please state your name and affiliation before you ask your question. And since there are many members of the media joining this session, so please limit your question to just one question and be brief. Now, I All right, you've just been listening to a live press conference out of Japan, with Japan essentially confirming that the lunar spacecraft, the lunar spacecraft is now on the moon. They had been uh, checking its status earlier. They weren't necessarily sure, but they have confirmed that the lunar spacecraft is on the moon. It landed at around 12.20 a.m. Saturday, local time. They said that it is receiving command from the Earth. Unfortunately, though, they did mention the solar cell is not generating electricity, that it is using uh, batteries. And as a result, because this has been successful, Japan is now officially the fifth country ever uh, to accomplish this.